Number 13 then from the 2022 National 5 Paper 1, a three mark question. Suds. As soon as you see all these square roots, you know it's that Suds question. Well, you have to expand and simplify this. Well, that little lone term at the end, that 8 root 5, you know there's going to be a root 5 lurking in here somewhere that that's going to join on to. Well, the first bit's going to be multiply it out. You'll have to multiply it out because you can't do the bracket first. You can't do the subtraction. You can't add or subtract thirds unless they're of the same amount. If that was a root 10, the root 10, well, obviously it would be a zero. But you can only add them if they're the same amount, and they're not. And 10 can't be made any simpler. Root 10 stuck at root 10. So there's nothing you can do in the bracket. You'll have to carry out the multiplication. Multiplication you can do. A square root times a square root is just the square root of the product. So that becomes the square root of 100, 10 tens or 100, minus. That becomes the square root of 10 twos or 20. And that's just waiting, waiting for a root 5. Doing that gets a mark. Now, root 100, well, you know that one. 10 tens or 100. Now, 20. Can you make that any simpler? Are there any perfect squares which are a factor of 20 that could get involved in a multiplication to make 20? Yes, 4. That's 4 times 5. See, there's that 5. You could probably just have said, well, I need a 5 out of here. So that must be 5 times what? It's 5 times 4. So now you've got 10 minus. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, so that can pop out. The square root of 5 you're stuck with, but you want it anyway. Plus 8 root 5. That gets you a mark for simplifying that third, for getting root 20 to be 2 root 5. Now you just add it all up. Well, 10, that's on its own. 8 of them, take away 2 of them, means you've got 6 of them. 10 plus 6 root 5 for the final answer. So number 14, for three marks, sketch the graph of a quadratic. That means you'll be drawing a parabola. And it even tells you what to do. You should know what to do with any sketch anyway. If you're going to sketch a graph, you show the important features. Where does it cut the x-axis? Where does it cut the y-axis? And where are there any turning points? Find the coordinates of any turning points. But it even tells you on your sketch, Show clearly the point of intersection with the x-axis and the y-axis and the turning point. And that's what the three marks are for. So first of all, it will be, where does it cut the x-axis? Well, if you want to find the coordinates of any point in a curve, there's two numbers here. You need to know one of them. On the x-axis, you do know one of the coordinates. The y-coordinate is zero. So that means that that's zero. So this expression here should equal zero. Now, normally you'd have to factorise it. They've done it for you, so you can just extract your answers. If that bracket was responsible for making this product zero, then that x must have been a negative one. If that bracket was responsible, x would have had to be a three. So that's one of the marks. Put it there, but you're not going to get it until you've also put it in here and drawn the sketch. Next bit, where does it cut the y-axis? Well, to find where it cuts the y-axis, you know what the x-coordinate is. You know the x-coordinate is 0, so you can put that in. So y will be 0 plus 1, 0 minus 3, replacing the x's. So y is going to be, that's a 1 times a negative 3 is negative 3. So plotting that, there's the intercept with the y-axis will be worth a mark, but not until you've actually plotted it, though. Now, what about the turning point? Well, a parabola is symmetrical. You know it's the correct way round. Positive x squared. It's a wee happy face one. It's the correct way round. And the turning point must be bang in the middle. Axis of symmetry. So where is the axis of symmetry? Well, if I just mark them in just now. It cuts the x-axis at negative 1. It cuts the x-axis at 3. I'm also put this one in. It cuts the y-axis at negative 3. So it's coming down like this and turning the axis of symmetry will be halfway between these two zeros of the graph. So you can either just think, how far is it from there to there? That's four steps forward. So it'll be two steps to the middle, or two steps back. So it'll be at one. Or you could put it down this way. Turning point. You know where the x-coordinate will be, because it has to be halfway between those two zeros. So it's halfway between negative one and three. So halfway between them would be, add them, find the average, add them and divide by two, 
So that's at x equals 1. Now you know what x is. Now you can use this equation, this coordinate equation, where x is 1 this time. So 1 plus 1 times 1 minus 3. So that's 2 times negative 2. So y is going to be negative 4. So the turning point's at 1, negative 4. So that would be the other mark. But not until you've plotted them all. So try and draw a smooth curve. Hopefully better than that. There's no marks for the artistry, luckily. Showing all the key features that you've found along the way. Where does it cut the x-axis? Where does it cut the y-axis? Show those intercepts. It's sufficient to show them as intercepts. That's as single numbers like the scale numbers on the axis, rather than putting down the whole coordinates. But you have to put down the whole coordinates for the turning point, because that doesn't lie in an axis.